Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefan and in this video I want to show you how to play Kabalevsky's Opus 39 number 16. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. So a couple of words about the book. Kabalevsky's Opus 39 is a great book for beginners from about under grade 1 to grade 1 grade 2 to build um, technique, character and style. Pieces are very short but they are very different to each other and uh, they all uh, present a good amount of challenge. In this video we're going to learn number 16. Uh, let me demonstrate it first and then I will talk you through the difficulties. So as you could hear, it, it is very kind of sad, but very connected, smooth playing in this piece. And there's a lot of phrasing, a lot of slurs. So you can instantly see that what it's trying to teach you is how to phrase the music, how to lift up your hand between the slurs to create shorter sentences and longer sentences. The key signature is F sharp, but it sounds more like an A minor. However, it finishes in E minor, so it's very interesting harmonically. And we are in 3 4, so three crotchets in every bar. It's a kind of dancey feel. One, two, three, one, two, three. My edition says Andantino, which is walking speed ish, so a little bit faster than walking speed. And the left hand says cantabile, which means in a singing style. So you have to make the left hand really, really legato, very smooth and almost like a cello playing that melody, really overpowering the right hand accompaniment notes. Uh, let's have a look at the first section. I would say it has three sections. The first line where we have the melody in the left hand and the right hand is holding these dotted minims or dotted half notes as an accompaniment. In the second line, the two hands kind of work together to create the melody, so both hands are equal. And in the third line, where the melody again returns to the left hand and the right hand is playing accompaniment notes. The left hand has very long phrases. The first phrase, which starts at the beginning of the first line, starts number three on A. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, lift. And that's the first phrase. And you have to keep your hand down all the way to the end of the phrase. Make sure you don't lift up anywhere and you don't have any gaps between the notes. And try to sing through that melody as much as you can. You can add your own dynamics to it, a little bit of crescendo as you go up, a diminuendo as you descend. It's not necessary, but it makes it nicer. The right hand in the first section is just holding one, two, three, one, two, lift. One, two, three, one, two, lift. One, two, three, one, two, lift. One, two, three, one, two, three. You see the slurs are connecting groups of two notes, so we have to lift up after every second note, and you can do that on the third beat of the dotted half note, and that's going to give you plenty of time to lift up your hand. When you put the two hands together, the right hand has to be much quieter than the left hand, because the left hand has the melody. have a crescendo. So that's the, the introduction. The middle part is again lots of drop slurs where you drop, lift, drop, lift. The slurs are connecting again two notes at a time and they go together at the, in both hands at the same time. So starting A and C. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, 
two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So the drop slow means drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. And then pulling it back for the end. And the final line is almost completely identical to the first line, but the right hand is adding a couple of extra notes, the octaves for the E. So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So it's making the lifts a little bit harder because you have less time to lift as we have that third beat note as well. And the left hand is playing the same. And again, at this time, the right hand goes back to quiet and the left hand to loud. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now, very important when you put the, the right and left hand together in the first and last line is that when the right hand lifts up, the left hand doesn't come up by accident like this. So the left hand has to stay connected. And so on. So the biggest difficulty, as you can see, is creating that beautiful melody, the legatos, and separating those phrases. And in order to do that successfully, your hands have to be very flexible, a very relaxed wrist, and making sure that the hands follow the melody. So the hand is not static. It's, it's moving with the melody, your arms as well, and your hands are leading the melody. If the melody is ascending, your hands have to follow. If it's descending, your hands follow, and that's going to increase your musicality immensely. If you have any more questions about number 16, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, subscribe for more.